Good morning, Grace, and welcome to Sunday Morning Prayers. This past week I sent you a YouTube called Prayer in the Pandemic, using the Psalms to help us in all the ways we need to pray these days. Psalm 133 ends with these words, Hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. In the Bible, the word hope means waiting, waiting for God. We are in a state of waiting, all of us these days, for what will come or may come. Let us, in this time, hope in the Lord. We have celebrations today, birthdays, Caleb Koppelmeyer, Nancy James Kinney, and Zach Milstead. We have an anniversary in our community, Kevin and Marsha Angel. Some new re prayer requests for this week are to pray for Emma Chestnut's friend, Kim Osuka. And we pray for Chris Brown's father, who is recovering from surgery he had this week. We pray for the 56,000 persons who have died and their families and the one million persons who are infected with the virus. A friend sent me an article this week from the Harvard Business Review. The title was, that discomfort you're feeling is grief. You may have been feeling some discomfort these days, some tiredness or sadness that you could not pin down. It may well be grief, the kind of grief that is called anticipatory grief. We know that a storm is coming. We do not know how it will turn out but it will be bad. Our brains are anticipating the grief to come, the death, the dislocation, the life-altering changes. I think I am feeling some of that. So may you. So let us pray for one another as we are suffering anticipatory grief these days. And let us now end these prayers with prayers of thanksgiving for one another in our brave little church and for the gift of Christian community. As Paul wrote in Philippians, I'm thankful, he said, for our koinonia, our companionship, our partnership in the gospel. Blessings.